okay and guys happy friday to all of you and yes we do have plenty of headlines starting with of course Aaron Rodgers. we know that he's in hawaii currently vacationing and not at packers otas Russell Wilson is not on vacation, but he's also not at voluntary workouts. And it's important to say voluntary workouts. Now, head coach Pete Carroll saying Wilson has been in San Diego working out with various teammates instead of at OTAs. And while it was a season of discontent for Wilson and the Seahawks, wide receiver DK Metcalf joined NFL Total Access on Thursday and said he never had a doubt Mr. Unlimited would be back. No, nah, um, me and Russ, were, um, we stayed in contact with each other throughout this whole process. And um, I know, uh, you know, I, I respect any man's decision of, of whatever he wants to do. Uh, you know, if he wants to stay or, or leave, um, you know, I respect his decision. But uh, no, nah, there's no doubt I, I knew Russ was going to come back this whole time. All right, nothing to see there, right? Running back Todd Gurley is still on the market looking for a team after playing for the Falcons on a one-year deal last season. NFL Network's Tom Pelissero reporting Gurley visited with the Lions and took a physical on Thursday uh, where he designed with the Lions who would reunite him, of course, with Jared Goff, his former Rams teammate. And the Eagles have promoted Catherine Raich to vice president of football operations. Raich previously served as the Eagles football operations slash player personnel coordinator for the last two seasons. The move makes Raich the highest ranking woman involved in player personnel in NFL history. So this is certainly a significant wow. milestone. And whenever we highlight these hirings, which we like to a lot on this program, we also like to say at the same time, we hope we get to a point where this is just the norm. It is not just an exception, okay? It's very true. You knew that that's what I was going to say. You said it for me. And I do appreciate yeah. that you've had to share these sort of stories very frequently over the last couple Absolutely. of months, certainly uh, over the duration of the show. The game has changed, and it's very exciting to see. So thank you so much, Absolutely. Will Selva. And it's not only with diversity and inclusion, but it's also about being honest about mental health. It is Mental Health Awareness Month. The NFL helping to uh, add awareness. It's a league-wide effort. We're trying to destigmatize the conversation uh, surrounding prioritizing what's going on up here. And it's health, it's wellness. And so here on Good Morning Football and all across our NFL platforms, you're going to see throughout the month of May, and you have seen NFL players, coaches, owners, the like, us talking about what we do to prioritize uh, our mental health and emotional well-being, really. So Dolphins quarterback back Jacoby Brissett sat down with us and he spoke about meditation and how he uses that to his advantage. You know, as a quarterback, I think mental health and goes hand in hand with, uh, you know, being physically sharp when you step on the field with the ability to narrow in and focus in on a job. I think that gives you another added advantage. It's Jacoby keeping it. He's in. Yes, sir. Jacoby Brissett. Before every game, I would meditate before I ran on the field each time. And it makes me play more free and focus in on the task. You know, the stress that you take home and put on to, to your family members and your friends. That's the reason why I really started doing it, because, you know, I started projecting that. You know, I think it helped me tremendously. Rolling right side of Jacoby Brissett looking pump fakes. Now he's going to run to the end zone. Touchdown, Jacoby Brissett. When I meditate, it may take five minutes, it may take 30 minutes. I mean, honestly, it may take 30 seconds sometimes and I'm good. We all say we're, we're busy and we have this to do and that to do, but to be able to do it efficiently, I think you gotta make time for things like that. You know, it's important to talk and to listen, to be able to voice and to listen to somebody else's voice, keep applying the pressure, keep having the conversations. That'll spark a lot of change from those two components alone.
It has been so powerful and so informative and so refreshing to see NFL players use their voices, use their platforms to discuss something that wasn't discussed even two years ago, three years ago in these NFL circles, certainly on this very show. And there are people out there who might be hesitant to seek help or think that it's okay to not be okay, who might feel alone in those struggles. Uh, so I would urge them and you and myself, if you have any more questions, if you want to learn about mental health resources that are available to you, please go to MHA National. Dot org. More Good Morning Football on the way. We've got headlines. We've got Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes. We've got rookies. QB, 